Hi guys, uh, in this lab um, I will demonstrate a Windows uh, Server Backup. Um, I will not show the online backup services uh, but we will see the normal uh, online uh, backup services. So for this purposes I am using uh, one of the server with the domain controller. Uh, we will put all our files in the domain controller. So let's go to the server 1. We are on server 1. Uh, let me log into the server. let me log on to the DC as well so on server 1 uh, what we will do we will add a role um, of uh, uh, Windows Server Backup. Uh, Windows Server Backup uh, is actually not a role it's a feature uh, but if you go on to the tools menu uh, let's uh, uh, server manager start first so that we can see the options so once it's loaded you can see that in the uh, tools menu um, there is windows server backup but actually this windows server backup is not installed uh, when you come here when you go to the local backup uh, and this is is not installed on this computer so let's close uh, this thing out let's go to the add roles and features and we will install a feature of windows um, server backup should be at the last there it is windows server backup next and we'll install it So now you can see that the installation is completed. So this is the end of our first ta task uh, that uh, installing the feature, Windows uh, Server Backup feature. Uh, the second task is to configure a schedule uh, backup. For that we can go to the tools, open the Windows Server Backup, click on local backup. so we have it so we have on our uh, right side uh, we have backup schedule backup once recover configure performance so we want to configure a schedule backup so we will do backup uh, schedule so we'll go next uh, we want full server recommended one and the schedule is what time of the day you want to do that uh, usually uh, most of the backups uh, in the organization was done in the night so you can say uh, like 1 a.m. in the morning so nobody is at the office and uh, it doesn't matter if the server goes uh, very slow while making the uh, backup so let's move forward so now it's asking us where do you want to store the backup so a backup uh, uh, to a hard a hard disk uh, that is dedicated for backups which is recommended uh, backup to a volume or backup to a shared uh, network folder so we, we will uh, do on the shared uh, network folder um, so let's move forward when you use a remote share folder as the storage extension will schedule backup each backup will erase the previous backup and only the latest backup will be available so that's okay it's asking us for the location the location is on the DC so we will say London DC1 slash backups so this is the location uh, where I want to save the backup now it's asking us uh, to log in to that one so let's try to log in as administrator and the password so now it's allowed us so as we are doing the full backup so it's gonna do all files uh, bare metal recovery local disk system reserved and system state so it's gonna do everything 
we can uh, we can click finish here and uh, that is how you gonna do the uh, schedule backup setup so the third uh, task uh, for today's is to complete an on-demand backup so for the on-demand backup uh, we will do backup once so let's open this wizard and let's see what what these options have so we have uh, backup uh, we can create a backup now using a schedule backup option or a different options <coughs> a schedule backup option is the option which we just saw that we can do in schedule so in this one we will click a uh, different options and then we will click next so now it's asking us what we want to do we want to do the um, full server recommended or the custom one so in this sense we will say we want the custom one now it's it want us to uh, know what we want to back up so let's add items so in the item fields we can see we if we have something interesting here uh, we have many folders so let's say we want to do a backup of financial data so on C drive we, we are doing the backup for the financial data we'll click OK so now that folder is inside uh, our selection then we will do next again it's asking us where you want to back it up so we want to back it up on the remote shared folder uh, the location will be the same London DC1 slash backup and access control is inherit or do not inherit so it's it's better to have inheritance so that whoever has the access on the real one will have the access on the backup one so we'll do next and then we'll do the backup So now the backup is done. Uh, let's close this window. Uh, we will see uh, that the last backup was done. It was successful. Any message uh, you will see whether the backup is done properly or not. So in in the next exercise, uh, the exercise is for the restoring. So we already know now that how to backup the schedule one or how to do the backup once one. Uh, let's recover some data now. So let's say uh, we go to our C drive. and we have financial data here uh, the folder financial data folder what we can do here is uh, we can delete uh, this uh, file let's say we deleted it so the folder gone we can close it so the folder is gone now we need a backup of this folder to restore we can go to the server backup we'll do recover and the recover one comes in so it's asking us where the backup is stored so as you know that we speci uh, we specified a remote server uh, shared folder so let's do a backup from another location so it's a remote shared folder and the remote shared folder is london dc one slash backup So now it's asking um, which date the backup has been done. So we know that the date was the same. Uh, we did it today. So let's move forward. Uh, what you want to recover? File and folders or volumes? So in our case, uh, it is uh, uh, 
volume uh, not a not a volume uh, because uh, we did only a folder so let's do for the folder so there comes london server one and it will show us the financial data folder so it has two text files so that that's what we want to recover so we did financial data and then we click next uh, where you want to uh, re recover with the original location or the another location so we want it to another location and the another location is c colon slash so actually we want it on the root and then we'll move forward so now we are at the final stage these two files are going to be recovered let's recover the files so it's completed if we close it if we go to our C drive we will see should have financial data so you you see that the financial data uh, files are restored uh, because we selected the files if we go back uh, if we delete it here from here let's say and if we go back and we say restore again but this time on the share folder from LAN DC1 back up for today's date file and folders so local disk C we, whatever is here it, it, it will be recovered so if you want to recover a folder it's going to recover the folder for us so if we do this and recover so now it will recover the folder for us so you have to be very uh, precise about where you want and what you are recovering so now if you go to our C drive you will see we have financial data folder back so that's it for the uh, Windows backup and recovery option uh, hope uh, this is going to help you out in your strategy